Today we're going to make a steel bench with a marble top. The design for this bench started with this simple detail of combining angle sections. I wanted to experiment with color and with adding materials like natural stone and end up with a sturdy bench that would be a great project for beginner welders. All right, let's get to the building. All the steel components that we're going to use are called angle steel. They're an extrusion that looks like the letter L. After measuring the length, I then marked perpendicular lines with a speed square and then cut through the steel with my angle grinder. I want to taper the ends for aesthetic reasons, so I just drew a diagonal line and then propped up the angle steel so that it would be nice and flat before cutting through again with the angle grinder. The force of the angle grinder was moving the steel around, so I just secured it with a clamp and that made it a lot easier. I made these diagonal cuts on both of the long pieces that run horizontally. The cut edges were a little bit jagged, so I switched to an angle grinder with a flap disc and smoothed over the rough edges. Steel like this is often covered with a dark gray substance called mill scale and in this case also a little bit of rust. So I also used a flat disc to clean up the steel and get it ready for welding and eventually paint. Next up I'm going to cut the legs. I double stack the angle sections and cut through two pieces at a time. I want to fit the legs right inside the angled part, but the inside corner of the angle steel is a little bit curved, so I'm going to have to round over the corners of the legs so that it'll fit nice and flush. This type of fit just makes me happy. I want the legs inset from the ends of the bench, so I measured about 11 inches from the ends. I could weld these from the outside, but then all the welds would show, and if you're a beginner welder, there's a good chance your welds are going to be a little bit messy. Welding from the inside can be a little bit tricky because the nozzle of the MIG welder can be a little bit too big to really get down in there. So I'm actually going to cut a notch on the horizontal piece of angle steel so that I actually create room so that I can do these nice hidden welds. Now I can get the tip in there and lay down about three and a half inches of welds. Thoroughly cleaning and removing any rust or mill scale really makes welding a lot easier. So again, I just used a flap disc to clean up the steel. All the steel on this bench is two inch angle steel with the exception of two cross supports where I'm gonna use one inch angles. These will be used to secure the bench top and will be hidden behind the wider two inch pieces of steel. Prepping for the welding can often take longer than the welding itself, but don't get impatient, it's well worth it. And it'll lead to a better paint job as well. Alright, I'm ready to start assembling. I'm going to use magnet clamps to first locate the 2 inch angle cross supports. And I'm not going to weld them all the way in, I'm just going to tack them in in a few spots. It's better just to lightly tack in all the pieces and then check to make sure everything's square before running full beads to structurally reinforce the connections. This is because sometimes the heat from the welding can actually cause the pieces of steel to move a little bit with expansion and it can throw you out of square. Now I want a lot of surface area to glue the marble tile down to so I cut a piece of MDF to fit within the bench and then I placed the one inch angle cross support on top of that and then welded them to the frame. With the frame all tacked together, I'm now ready to attach the legs. I used the magnet clamps to hold them in place and then worked the tip down into the notch that I cut and welded the legs to the frame. I lightly tacked them in place at first, then used a speed square to check to make sure they were straight, had to force them into position a little bit, and then reinforced all the welds. I flipped the bench over, and then really did the structural welding here. I just went back in and threw down nice long beads on all the connections. I have a very beginner friendly welding machine and I'm just using flux core wire without any gas so the welds can be a little bit splattery. And because I want a nice paint job, I put a wire brush on my drill and then cleaned away all the splatter from the welds. 
I drilled holes through the one inch pieces of angle steel that allow me to pass screws up from the bottom and secure the piece of MDF. All right, the steel work is done, time to paint. But before I paint, you gotta use primer. And I'm using rusty metal primer. Rusty metal primer is great because it's kind of an insurance policy just in case you missed a little bit of rust during your cleanup. There was a couple locations where I applied the primer just a little bit too thick, so once it had fully cured, I just went back in with a sanding sponge and sanded those drip marks down until they were smooth. I then used Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel in flat white, and I applied about three coats on top of the primer. Oh, and shout out to our Z-Mask for making the most comfortable and the coolest looking masks out there. I wanted a little bit of pop of color for the legs, so I used my speed square and some painter's tape to mask off the lower portion of the legs. I then placed a thin plastic drop cloth on top, poked some holes through it, so now the only parts that are exposed are the parts that I want to paint yellow. Again, I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel, but this time in gloss yellow. I don't just want the color contrast, I want the surface contrast as well. The gloss will be a little bit more reflective, and it'll really look like a totally different surface than the flat white. Removing the tape and revealing those nice, crisp paint lines is one of the most fun parts. I then placed the piece of MDF and then used some short three quarter inch long screws to secure it to the steel bench. I'm gonna glue down the tile, but I don't want the glue to squeeze through and show through the edges. So to be on the safe side, I'm gonna use Gorilla Clear Construction Adhesive. And I'm gonna spread it around to make sure it's not on too thick because you don't want to put the tile on and then have it all just ooze out the sides. I'm using 12 inch by 24 inch marble tiles that I got from Home Depot. I'll put a link to those and everything else in the description box below. I then place some rags and use squeezy clamps to really press the marble down flat to the steel while the glue cures. The result is a really clean, modern looking bench that with steel and marble would do well both inside or out. I really like the detail for how the legs attach, and I hope this project inspires some of you to really take up welding for the first time. My background was more in wood and then I experimented with concrete and Metalworking is more of a new thing, but it's really a lot easier and it's amazing at how much you can do with just an angle grinder and a welder. Follow us on Instagram if you want to see what we're working on next. Check out some of our other videos and thanks for watching. Okay, bye.